Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's going on for you in the month of March? Stay tuned and we will find out. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. It is so wonderful to see you here and I hope you're all doing really well. Let's get right into your reading. All right, Sagittarius, let's get an overall energetic vibe for your month ahead. Saggies, oh, we have the sun, some beautiful Leo energy. And we have a three of coins. Okay, very nice. All right, so the Leo energy, Leo does rule the fifth house in the astrological wheel. Your fifth house astrologically is Aries, if you have Sag rising, and that is being really, really activated by Jupiter and Venus in March. So there could be some beautiful opportunities headed your way, beautiful moments, especially in the fifth house. Love, romance, creativity, taking risks, creative projects, uh, the house of pleasure, the house of the entrepreneur. Uh, there could be an exciting trip that you're planning. This is just such glorious energy. With this three of coins, which is a plan, an architecture, a structure card, this is also, this is about building relationships, building strong foundations, uh, getting plans in motion to connect with other people in ways that, uh, are helpful, are practical, that, that create things. So there could also be a, be some sort of beautiful energy happening in your workplace with the three of coins here. Um, you know, working on a very successful project with a couple of other people in a small team, that's possible with this energy. Um, but you could also, you know, because this is structure for me, you could also be putting together the creative foundation or the creative structure of some sort of uh, project that you want to work on over the next several months, maybe from now until Leo season. So you could be coming up with like an outline for a book or something like that. Um, but this is, I mean, this is really good. You're building something with joy. That's what this is. Could also be building a relationship, right? Building a, a better relationship with your children, building a relationship with uh, your colleagues, building a relationship with some friends, craft, hobby groups, things like that. All right, maybe with a significant other. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see, Sag, what is on your mind in the month of March? What is on your mind? Sagittarius, what is on your mind? Look, three of coins, again. This is why I love to use another deck and see if energies repeat. And a Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, Temperance, and the Empress. There's help is on its way. You want to finish one thing so you can start something else. That is that is what's going on here, I think, for you. So what's on your mind is you want to wrap up something significant, Ten of Wands, because you've got this other thing you want to put your energy into. We just had this Three of Coins. And there could be an offer for you with this Knight of Cups to connect creatively with other people and build something new, like be invited to work on a certain project or with a certain team um, or to do a certain event or something like that. Uh, there's an invitation. There's an invitation here for you to build and create something in your life. But first, you may feel like, oh, but I got so much other stuff going on. I don't have time or I've just really got to get this thing done and shifted first. And then I can devote all my beautiful energy, uh, creative energy into this exciting thing. And again, another number three. I think you're going to be... I mean, we've had three number threes in this reading. I think you're going to be working on something that that involves a couple of other people uh, here with these with these particular energies, especially if this is in some sort of business sense or community sense, like, uh, you know, maybe, like I said, you're leading some sort of uh, book club, a craft club, uh, you know, or you're, you're leading a team at work, whatever. There's definitely something going on with at least two other people. Um, 
but yeah, we have the beautiful temperance energy, which is your energy. So this is, uh, this is gorgeous transformational creative energy here, life force energy with the Empress. And, um, wow, we've got so much beautiful, beautiful creative energy showing up Empress and the sun card so far in the, in this reading. But yeah, for you, what I'm feeling is for you to feel fully comfortable in doing this new thing. This is the key, really, honestly, this ton of wands. You've, you've got to shift that off your plate first so you can free up energetic space and also maybe literal energy. You just don't have enough time, but you want to have time. This you're excited about this three of coins situation. So this is the thing to address. OK, you got to address that. And I would say, you know. You got to probably address it by that full moon in Virgo, which is on the 7th. So between the 7th and the 10th, like really get that wrapped up for you in March. All right, let's see what's in your heart, Sagittarius. What's going on for you? Your emotional life. In your heart. Sagittarius. Ten of coins. Beautiful. And the Eight of Swords, okay. Ace of Wands, Seven of Coins, and the Page of Wands, okay. So I think in your heart, you're trying to come up with uh, some sort of new direction for yourself in terms of investing your time, your money, and your energy that it'll bear fruit in the long term, this 10 of coins. This is Capricorn for me. This is your second house of money and self-esteem. Um, what I am feeling though also is that you, with this eight of swords here, there may be some limiting beliefs around prosperity that you're gonna be shifting for yourself. And yes, limiting beliefs do have things to do with our subconscious, yes, absolutely. Uh, but it can also be about shifting some energy internally in our heart in terms of what we deserve as well. Uh, and taking more inspired actions to help us shift, you know, shift the stuck energy. Um, positive actions that reinforce our self-esteem and our confidence so that we can move forward and manifest more for ourselves. So I think your heart is really focused on, on how can you best use your energy for long-term results in feeling better, feeling confident, feeling successful, not just financially, but also in terms of your confidence levels. I'm not saying you're not confident. I'm not saying that, but there could be, you know, nobody's, I don't think anybody's 100% confident in all areas of life and the world. No. And if they, and if they say they are, then they're a narcissist. Okay. So, so, you know, there's always there's always something where we need a little little boost and we get that boost from taking aligned action and giving ourselves that chance. So, I think that you're going to be you're going to be getting out of some sort of situation like that with finances. Um the other thing I'm feeling though is there's maybe a way for you to make some money that you're not seeing yet. Possibly because, again, you, you have a one track mind or a very narrow focus in terms of how to manifest more finances for yourself. So I think you're going to have a rethink about all of that. And there's going to be a new idea that you come up with, a new action you're going to take to move forward and make some more money for yourself. So uh, I, I do feel finances are top, top in your heart. Um, and maybe this three of coins has a lot to do also because we've had double three of coins with you perhaps accepting some sort of new invitation uh, to do something in the workplace that will expand your finances as well. And maybe you felt nervous about taking it because of some sort of fear of public speaking, fear of letting yourself be seen, you know, all those types of limiting beliefs, but you're going to take a chance on yourself. You have the ace of wands. Aces are about the self. It's your energy, the wands. 
and you can bring greater prosperity to yourself by doing that. So, I mean, that's possible for some of you as well. But we got we got the page of wands here. So I would say by Aries season, March 20th, you're going to be taking inspired action moving forward. And in your heart, you're ready. You're ready to do this. You're ready to grow, not only personally and professionally, but also grow in terms of really welcoming in what you do deserve with your prosperity. So that's very, very nice. All right, let's see what else we have going on for you. Sagittarius. And we have the Empress as well. And, you know, with those other cards. So um, it is about stepping into what you deserve. She's not just about love. She's also about money and feeling comfortable. I think there's a lot what's driving some of you is just to feel more financially comfortable. Um, but I think some of the comfort is also be also what's affecting the financial comfort is perhaps some confidence and comfort with yourself in terms of pursuing maybe something new three of coins twice all right you got this you can do this Sag all right let's see what else we have going on for you Sagittarius all right we have some shadow energy Interesting because we had the Eight of Swords before. So it is looking at those things we tend to not want to look at uh, and integrating them. So, and, and just addressing them, bringing it out into the light, accepting it, assimilating it, and moving on. So I think this has to do with that Eight of Swords. Okay. Again, with what you deserve, that there could be some stuff, again, from the past, limiting beliefs, that type of thing that's, that's keeping you in a lesser than situation, perhaps, with your finances. All right, let's pull another one. We already know that. Oh, we have this card. All right, so this is transformation. Number 30. So this could be at the very end of like March 30th. All right, let's clarify this one. So there's something you've been afraid to face. You're going to face it and you're going to move on. All right? We had the page of wands, like the transformation is here and everything's going to be okay. I mean, this is your energetic theme, remember, for the month ahead. Everything's going to be fine. It's just there is something to face and deal with and put it behind you. And I feel like this is more, again, with that Eight of Swords energy that you haven't been wanting to look at it. And probably in relation to your finances for many of you, or it just could be your self-worth, your confidence. You're going you're gonna to triumph over this. You're going to heal this. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, look, we got a Nine of Cups. And we got a nine of coins. Okay. So more Virgo showing up, which has to do with your career. We have a beautiful meal being brought to you. We have the nine of coins. Coins, pentacles for me are about self-esteem. We have her here in her beautiful garden picking some grapes. So we have the fruits of life here for you. We have bounty. We have success. Prosperity. Joy. Party time, party and prosperity. So let this less than situation leave your life, okay? You deserve this beautiful energy that's showing up here. So interesting, because again, the full moon is the seventh. We have two number nine showing up here. So this may be energy that really comes out out of, the, out of the shadows of the full moon, so to speak, uh, around March 7th, 8th, 9th for you. Um, yeah, very, very interesting energy that we got going on here. But this is for you. This is for you. Your joy and your prosperity are right around the corner. Okay, it's going to involve something new that you're going to get involved in. 
All right, and you're gonna take action on it. Here it is. All right, but this is the thing, this Eight of Swords. That's like a block to this. You got this. You're gonna you're gonna get it. All right, let's pick a card for you here, Sagittarius. Self-care card. And with the double nines, I mean that's the Virgo energy. That's the career. There is something connected with, with career here, perhaps as well. Pursuing a new plan for your career that's gonna make you a lot happier and bring in more money. And with the nine of coins showing up, it may have something to do with being more independent. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe you're going to start your own business, but you've been doubting yourself. There's that shadow, right? Doubting yourself if you could do it or not, or if you could sustain it, if it could be, you know, if it could support your lifestyle. You're going to find that internal confidence, that ace of wands. You are You're going to do this for yourself. All right, we have some music here. So number 37, that could be an important number for you. So play music, listen to music. This could have something to do with uh, a musical career that you want to invest in or a side hustle, sideline, getting your music out into the world. Everything's a metaphor with these Oracle cards. So listening to your own internal rhythms listening to the music of your heart and following the beat of your own drum and what makes you happy. She's got a drum here. Okay. Do what makes you happy, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let me know what's going on for you with these energies for March. I'd love to hear in the comments. I hope you guys have a beautiful month. Stay tuned for more videos. Keep an eye on the channel. They're, they're coming out. They're coming out fast and furious. All right. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.